And I, I'm growing. I understand how a man can get caught up in chasing pussy because there's a lot out here. But anyway, back to my point. This is I'm talking about single, single mother, single family, single mom. She gave that look like if you utter anything about it, I will smack your eyeballs out your head. And at that time. Okay, we're talking 1978. You could get your eyeballs smacked out of your head. And that was still around the time where, you know, I was on the tail end where the neighbors could give you a whooping, right? Then you go home, you get another whooping again. See, it was around that time that you had to keep your mouth shut when I would see my mother lie. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So... I had already started watching the shadiness of, you know, little girls my age, and they was already giving you enough. Do you like me? Yes or no? Oh, and I'm hungry. Ain't no food in the house. I ain't thinking about it. I'm like, man, wish my stepfather was here. Refrigerator full of food. Lights be on. Circle yes or no? Sometime I would circle yes. Sometime I would circle no. But, now, I already knew someone right how my mother would just lie to, you know, me and it would be in her lives, you know? Then, I came across my father's second wife, who happened to be my stepmother. Oh, the lies. The lies. She made my mother look like an angel. My mother was not an angel at all. But compared to the lies that she told, just lies after 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 lies. Now, mind you, I didn't know anything about the internet, especially at that time. I didn't. All I knew was that black women and black females in the hood lie. No conscious whatsoever. And 95% of the time, the guy never said or did anything to be lied to in such a toxic manner. All right, so by this time, I done got my mind ripped up by my mother and my stepmother, just alive. Then you start to get older, you know, you get to become a teenager. You know, and I'm from the hood, so alcohol and drugs and violence. And hot young girls is pussy on fire. Red fuck. All right. Now, I'm already Back of my mind is like, now never forget what you saw your mother and your stepmother, the lies that they told you, for no reason at all. No sympathy, no remorse whatsoever. I'm like, okay. Sure enough, do you know I started to see those same little reminders here and there, some big, some smaller, you know. Do females and black females and black women I dated all the way up till today? See, now they, they look crazy with trying to come with these lies up against the internet. You know, that's like uh, a football team that plays very well in this hood gonna take on an NFL football team. One ain't getting paid to play and the other ones get paid very well to play. So y'all already know who gonna win. The NFL players. And that's the same with women with these lies today. You know. I'm like, well you already know I can Google pretty much anything you say. And it's going to let me know 
the pros and cons and where you are being truthful, if this happens to be the truth. But it's also going to greatly expose where you're lying. And they still try it anyway. But see, this is what I learned about black women and black females. See, they figure they are just look for another male or man that is more naive. Now, that worked before the presence of the internet. That worked very well. It did. Okay. I got to admit, it, it, it worked. Okay, but today, because of the internet, that don't work today. Because that one that looked like he could be naive. He got either a laptop, iPhone, Android, desktop computer, tablet, computer watch, and he can call it right up, just like that. See, that's why I said a lot of times black females and black women are coming up short. Because now they're starting to make themselves look foolish now because of them wanting to ignore the presence of the internet to call them on their bullshit when they want a lot. I remember I dated I dated a few sisters. I, you know I stopped dating them because of the fact they lied so damn much. Now I ain't gonna say none of their names because you know you never know what a sister is going through financially and they happen to see that you mention their name on YouTube and then they want to, you know, weasel their way back into your life, you know, where they don't look as pretty as they used to when they was in their prime. It's a lot of denial there. I don't want to be bothered. You know, um, I learned that a lot of times it's just best to move on, you know, because you can't stop a black woman or a black female from lying. You can't. All you can do is permanently understand that that's what she's always going to be. It's a liar. And you can't trust a liar. You can't. Because they will tell you anything. Anything. Anything to the point where you can't trust them. I remember one, I haven't seen or talked to her in probably almost 20 years. And that reason why I left her alone then was because she just wouldn't, she just couldn't stop lying. I remember one I used to date. She lied so much she could never look me in my eyes. And I'm like, honey, what, why are you looking way over there? I'm right here in front of your face. Just lying. Now, viewers, put in the comments section what you experience dealing with women. My viewers that are of a different nationality, please put in the comments section what you've experienced from women lying to you. Put it in the comment section. I want to know. Because this is another reason why MGTOW is pretty much here to stay. Because all of us as men, those of you that are males that, I even heard that MGTOW didn't, didn't started in teenage, teenagers going MGTOW. I saw the video. I don't know if it's still on there. That was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, but again, I'm not surprised. Because, see, the thing is with, with I've learned about uh, women and, and females, they just won't stop lying. It's worked for them so well for so long. They just won't let it go. It's almost like trying to take a bone from a dog. You gonna have a hard time. It ain't happening. But see, the only difference is she does not have a security blanket like Linus had in the cartoon Charlie Brown. 
She did in the industrial age. The industrial age was the black woman and black female security blanket. She had it on lock. Okay. But see, y'all ever heard that saying, never miss the water until your well runs dry? Okay, that's pretty much how it is for the black woman in America and the black female in America. And for all other women in America too, but especially those two. Because they've been pretty pretty skanky and evil towards us as men for a very long time for no reason only because they could get away with it. But see, now you have Agenda 21. Hello? It's okay. That's okay. Um, you have Agenda 21, you have um, Automation. See, Automation, it's a video on YouTube, it's, it explains um, 15 jobs that will be eliminated within like I think 10 to 20 years because of artificial intelligence, the robots. Most of those jobs are strongly occupied by black women and black females. Because again, they ignore Gender 21. They ignore automation. They ignore MGTOW. They ignore that men ain't trying to holler at them no more. And most of them still, despite of the cost of living going up, they won't take the degree that they have because Black women have a lot of degrees. I'll give them that. They either got an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or sometimes they have a PhD. Okay, but now that's great. That's good. That's good. But here's the downside on their part. Due to him having low self-esteem and thought that they was permanently safe to hide it where they never have to face life head on in the economic world of being an entrepreneur is that they never start a business or even try to start a business in the degree that they majored in. And this is what's putting them, they putting themselves out of commission today more than ever by not acknowledging Agenda 21, automation, uh, MGTOW, and then men just not want to have nothing to do with them because of the fact most of them are chronic liars with no conscience whatsoever. Like I said, uh, for them to behave like that in the industrial age, okay, I can understand that because they had substance. The internet was not present, okay? But see, now the internet, you can look up anything and just with a click, pow, it's there. Examples in the form of pictures or videos. Y'all know how social media is. It's, it's, it's beautiful. I'm so glad that the internet is here and it's here to stay. And this is where most women, um, especially black women in America and black females in America, are going to lose to the point where they're going to be um, extinct. And it's of their own doing. Because the internet is is a, is a, is a beautiful, friendly tool, but she she hates the internet because the internet has given leverage, control, creativity, expandability, and predictability to men, not just the black man, but all men of all nationalities, because. Uh, viewers, how many times have you met uh, men of other different nationality and they women treating them like shit with the chronic lying with no conscience whatsoever? See, and again, no woman can successfully compete against Agenda 21. Her pussy can't do that for her. And it never will. Because the powers that be, it's one that said this, I don't know where I heard it from, I might have read it, I might have heard it, or both, I don't remember. But I do remember the impact and the understanding of the saying, and that was, 
If the powers that be brought about this world for us, why can't they successfully bring about Agenda 21 to do the same thing? And that's true. But she's ignoring that. You know, it kind of reminds me of uh, that cartoon. Then he, uh, that, that, uh, he said, how many lumps do you want? Oh, about three or four. And that's the same thing that most black women, black females are doing. See, there was a great distinguishment between the two before the internet. But now they are the same to me because their standards of virtuals is getting lower and lower and lower, such as the fake hair, which that which is loosely called uh, hair hats. Okay. <laughs> the tattoo wearing, the masculine behavior, the chronic lying with no conscience whatsoever, the, the false eyelashes, the fake breast implants. Um the butt injections, the ignoring of Agenda 21, the ignoring of automation, the ignoring of MGTOW, the ignoring the reason why men that are not MGTOW still do not desire to date them or marry them or not have any kids and build a family with them. See, she's in extreme denial. Okay. And now, like I said, I made videos about them still wanting to beat us up. That's coming. You know how it's coming? Because she figured that because the cost of living keeps going up, um, she can lay on her back to make up, to make ends meet. See, that, that, that's, that's the day of the past now. Because you only can work so many jobs. As one of my viewers posted, he said that... Um, and where he lives at, that if your employer finds you working a second job, you could lose that one and be forced to work that one. He said that uh, this woman did that and somebody snitched on her. And now she's working one job and selling her body at night to make ends meet. So that's the only thing about a woman is that a woman puts too much stock into her beauty. I got it that she understands she fine and everything is intact and she know men love pussy and we she know how it affects us and she know that you know she know we got a nose and every man likes for a special woman to smell like for a pussy to smell a certain way and, and I understand that okay but the fact that she's so evil with the chronic lying and that us as men still have a brain that holds a memory and most men have photographic memories especially when you've been done wrong when you have not said or did anything for it and you've been done just wrong okay and it's like well no nah, you know we had some good times but your evil ways and all that lying outweigh the good times honey so i'm going to have to let you go and that's when they're going to still try to jump on you that's still going to happen because women still don't want to be held accountable for all that chronic lying so uh, stay tuned for more coverages on these topics about women's behavior in the time of the internet. Post your comments in the comment section. I want to know. Don't you go anywhere.